You get a puberty. I can't get that stupid song. Okay, let's go. What song? All right, it's a triple threat that podcast. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Let's hit the music. All righty then. There we're back. I was completely Thanks, talking guys. over you in that intro. Ah, that's the best part, Alex. Is it, is it the best? Part? We're keeping it in. Oh, God. Hey, man, we're like we're crazy. dirty. We're dirty show. D u r r t y, folks. It is. This is the voice of Matt. Oh. Where's this rotten fruit coming from? What is this? There's eggs and rotten fruit and. We some have, fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who brings um, so many tomatoes? Who brings one them of those to a rally? Classic like cartoon fish heads, where it's just like <laughs> everything's intact. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the bones and the gills. And the gills. I am Matt Braun. I am thirty three point three three repeating percent of the Triple Threat Pod. Hey, that's my Twitter bio. No, the thirty three percent. That's right. Sixty six point six six repeating. <laughs> <laughs> so you both be 33. No, 35, 34. and then Matt will be 32. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, Macarena. Um, well, you are, the, you are the favorite, Alex, still. You are the favorite on the, on the show. Alex is the favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is in Halifax. That doesn't matter. Will is the refuse to intro my second or least favorite. We're not sure yet. And uh, he is in Vancouver. There's a That's tie also for second. Not <laughs> That would be okay. There's only On one this yeah. podcast, yeah. we are going to talk about recipes for cotton candy. We're going to talk about kale milkshakes. Sugar. We're going to talk about kale, um, kale making stained milkshakes. glass kale in your shakes. home. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to no. We're talking about kale milkshakes. Stained it's glass in your home. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to talk about chocolate that. chip cookie dough, frozen dairy dessert. We're going to talk a about frozen dessert. Um, I just had some coconut uh, blizzard. How stuff. to make a, a blizzard in your own home. Not the weather pattern, but the Dairy Queen delicious treat. And we're also probably going to talk about uh, the Terminator Genesis trailer and, yes. most importantly, Bond 24 and all the announcements that that's, came that's along. That's correct, yes. With that. if, if, you, if you weren't privy to these announcements and th- this information, particularly about the kale milkshakes, then you will be privy to it now. If someone asks, like, hey, have you found out about the 24th Bond film? You say, yes, actually, I, inf- I am, in fact, privy to this you information. Say, I'm totes privy. Totes guys, priv, yo. Guys, who's, who's the biggest James Bond fan you know? Who's the biggest James Bond fan I know? Matt, I would say you. Um, oh. Matt Myra. Unless it's the trick question. <laughs> you, know, you know Matt Myra personally. I know Matt Myra and Matt Gourley. Actually, Matt the top Myra. three Bond fans I know are all named Matt. All named Matt. I don't know them. I know of. I know Alex, of them. Alex, shouting out to the tr- to uh, James Bond and podcast. A absolutely must listen if you are a fan of James Bond. But yes, uh, I would say that I am uh, the biggest Bond fan in the podcast and possibly in your lives, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> and, uh, so don't today, tell us how uh, exciting you, need, you are. You need more excitement in your life. Don't tell us that you're excited. Uh, I don't know. You all find that pretty cool. Okay. I, I was cool. just looking for a word. Transitionally. So I was pretty excited when I heard that uh, Bond 24 was going to have an announcement about, you know, what's going on with it. Um, and so the uh, there's a lot to go through. First off, it's coming out in less than uh, less than a year. Eleven months from now. That's it's true, Matt. You are you will be your current age now when it comes out. I will actually be. Have they filmed it yet? Did they film no. it already? I feel like they filmed a, not a shot of it yet. Which is uh, not- which is awfully wishful thinking because like yeah, the James Bond movies require a little bit of post production, wouldn't you say? Not not a whole lot. Obviously, they're not CG heavy yeah. movies, but like uh, maybe get on it, guys. And maybe and maybe but it depends on who's. Maybe don't take too. a Christmas break. Because you know? some guys are more practical than others, right? As, as, That's true. As, as seen in the George Lucas uh, version of the Star, <laughs> the the Star Wars trailer. <laughs> that was That's good for no a practical lot. effects. Uh, also, uh, just to, um, they also saw a trailer called The Schwartz Awakens, which was taking shots of space balls and putting it over yeah. the sound yeah, the from the voice, Star yeah. Wars. And uh, it it worked uh, decently. It was good for uh, good for a larf. Made me larf. Made me larf a little bit. So interesting that we have a tr- like. It's just a teaser for the Star Wars movie that's going to come out mid December next year. And now we have announcements about a James Bond movie who, as, yeah, as far as we're all concerned, hasn't shot a frame yet, and it's coming out before Star Wars is. Yeah. So cool. To it. Get, get on it, though, guys. <laughs> so, so one of the um, most interesting parts of oh. a James Bond movie announcement is what they're going to name it. Um, yes. since they Since the books have kind of run out of, of titles um, as recently as, I don't know, GoldenEye, I guess, would be one of the first ones that 
of, of uh, the Ian, Fle- Ian Fleming well, books? Uh, technically, I think License to Kill, I mean, well, that was never an Ian Fleming book, but Living Daylights was a short story, and so they're always trying to kind of was take little bits. It was paired with uh, Octopussy, I think, wasn't it? Living uh, Daylights and Octopussy? I think I, think yeah, I was just you. researching that. You with your, your yeah. Fleming My, my Fleming. Like you know what else I learned about Ian Fleming? He died in 1964, two yep. years after <laughs> Dr. No came out. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if he saw Goldfinger, uh, which is remarkable. Like the, One of the most... Uh, renowned and uh, fascinating James Bond movies. That is true. I may not have seen uh, that. That you know, it's funny. And Goldfinger uh, looks like our dad. So there you go. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's rude. Sorry, it's dad. not rude. He's he's obviously you don't look like Gert he's Krobe. obviously a bigger, more German version of dad. But he kind of looks like dad. He's a ginger guy. <laughs> uh, so when when these movies are banded about and they talk about you know what are they going to name them? Often what they, people go back to is they'll say, well, you know, there's still a couple names from the James Bond books that are, haven't been used yet. One of them is uh, Risico or Rizico, which uh, I don't know what that is or what that means, but it's obviously they haven't gone back. But to it's that intriguing. Well. And the other one is called 007 in New York, and that seems like it'll be unlikely. Well, that uh, seems like used. he's yeah. I don't think a title like that'll be used. They yeah. they have a lot of fun with these James Bond titles, not only in the movies, but also like the video games and and you know they call it like everything or nothing and. Um, right. What else? They actually made a uh, Bloodstone or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Treadstone. Yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> sorry. No. Treadstone is born. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, Cross so the this streams. movie. So Sam Mendes decided. You know what? I like one word titles that start with S and are seven letters. And so he kept it. He had Skyfall before, yes, and true. now and now he's got Spectre, which stands for Matt. Do you know it off the top of your head? Oh, I do gosh. have it in front of me. So Particular. I know what I know what. Um, Oh gosh, I know the last few. I was gonna look this up. The um, last few, the last few are the most most interesting parts. To extortion me. is it counterterrorism, revenge? No, it's counterterrorism. Yeah, it's counterter- and extortion. T- yeah, counterterrorism, revenge, and extortion. Yeah. So the novels, uh, the James Bond novels, had a uh, organization organization called Smirsh, all capital letters. I'm not sure what it stood for. If it was oh, a, um, it, it was it was Russian. So it's just it was a bunch Russian. Of, I could I can try to read it if you wanna if you wanna have a good larf. I can try Smirch, to Smirch. spiel them. Okay, here this is what <clears throat> Smirsh stands for. It's Soviet counterintelligence, and it stands for Spetsyalnymi Metodly Razobekhania Shvifomi. Metodly Raz, which obviously means special methods of spy detection. Yeah. So there you go. Um, but so, Spectre actually stands for Supreme Headquarters Intelligence Espionage oh. International Espionage Law Enforcement Division. So that, there you go. That's what's there you go. Oh wait, no, wait that's, that's, that's Shield. That's Shield. Sorry, that's the wrong, uh, wrong fictional organization that starts with the Society uh, S. for the Protection of Elfish Welfare. <clears throat> yeah, Society to Undermine, Annoy, and Ruthlessly Torment. Oh, that was from Doug. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, Spectre stands for Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, and Extortion. So oh, there you go. Counterintelligence. I say counterterrorism. So that would be a good thing. Spectre, and their logo is in octopus. So this is the interesting thing. So naming the movie Spectre, and on the poster uh, that they showed, Spectre is all capital letters. In the Bond movies before Spectre, because it is um, – what what is that when you – what's the word when the word is made up of the first letters or letters of another word? Um, it's a um, – I always get a couple different words confused. Uh, b- 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 um, um, oh, man. This, this oh, sucks. Anybody who's got Alex? a brain – We'll be mad Do you know what it is? Talking. It's like it's a acronym. 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 Isn't it an acronym? Homonym? Acronym. 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 Acronym is a is a word that uh, Acro- acronyms is homophone. In a, acronyms in Ohio, isn't it? This word. Acronym LeBron Ohio. Is yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's an, so Spectre is an acronym. I if I'm using that right. So it's capital yes, letters. I don't think it'll be capitalized on. Um, in, in, like I don't think people will have to call the movie by uh, all capital letter name, but. When you looked at it, Spectre, I'm like, okay, well, like, obviously, that's the name of an organization in the Bond lore. Yes. Um, maybe, may, uh, who knows, but also Spectre's and also just a kind of an interesting word. So, who knows if it's going to be related to the Spectre of uh, the movies before. Well, I do. But the, the you picture. Did, yes, you released a picture, a poster, right, Matt? It's, so, it's a, gun sh- it's, it, it's a gunshot in glass, and it's clearly. Which call it a bullet hole. Yeah, bullet, bullet hole in yeah. glass, whatever. Sorry, okay. my apologies. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's clearly an octopus, or at least it's, it's clearly got eight. Legs, which is the classic. Could be a Black Spectre Widow spider. Logo. Black Widow. Black Widow baby. Black Widow baby. And uh, oh so God. that means Widow that this baby. movie has to, you know, it, it is including Spectre, which means we talked about this last week. Yes, Christoph Waltz it w- was uh, described today as Franz Oberhauser, mm-hmm. but um, 
spoilers for Star Trek Into Darkness. I think this is just another John Harrison situation. There you go. You can say John Harrison. That's not doesn't spoiling spoil anything. anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Because right now, Matt Damon's in calling the show. movie. <laughs> <laughs> calling the movie Spectre. And Cassie Christoph Waltz is a character no one's ever heard of, but he's clearly the main villain. It means he's Blofeld. I don't know what is to be gained from it. I think they were trying to be a little bit sneaky with it. I don't think it's going to make a difference. He's Blofeld. That's just a fact. What if... Um, I don't want him to be now, just so you're like, Ew. Ew, oh, Franz Oberhauser. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. What if it turns out that Batiste is actually Blofeld? Well, that's why I love the Batistas in this is Mr. Hanks because it's a classic like uh, Bond henchman, you know. And I mean, Christoph Waltz doesn't have the the weight to throw around, but he's got Mr. Hanks, so he and can probably. And Ben Diesel's up. reprising his role as Groot. He's from Groot of the Galaxy. Nice. So that's I am Groot. He's Groot again. Great, great crossover. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's Groot news. That's Groot news right there. Uh, so I did not know Sam Mendes was also directing this one. Was yeah, that, he's doing it again. Also, do we know that way beforehand? I believe uh, that yes, was we did. Known, they pushed the movie. Yeah. Ba- they pushed the movie back so he could direct it. Actually, oh. they wanted it out this year. <laughs> it's like, I feel like we talked about this last podcast. It must be only you, Sam know, Mendes. Only you. Um, the guy who I don't want to say the name of the cinematographer of Interstellar because I, I don't know how to say it. Hoyti Van Hoytima or something like that. But sure. Anyway, just a made up he's, name. He's the <laughs> he's the uh, cinematographer of this one as well. Uh, this which was Roger Deakins before and he did an awesome job. But so this movie is usually look good the, too. Uh, director of. Uh, Photography for the cinematographer, yeah. sorry, for the um, Coen brothers. Have you guys seen um, Sherlock, BBC Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman? No, no it's on Netflix. Netflix though. With uh, uh, what's uh, his name yeah, and Lucy, Lucy Liu. Liu and, <laughs> and yeah, I have to Miller. Is that his name? No, yeah, no, sure. No. It sounds like him. The guy who used to be married to Angelina Jolie. Oh, really? Uh, was he? Billy Bob Thornton? <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Brad Pitt? What the hell is um, his name? Jennifer's so answer. the uh, so I recommend watching Sherlock on BBC. It's a good one for sure. Apparently, and Moriarty, the classic Sherlock villain, is played by Andrew Scott, who was also cast in this movie, Spectre, as a character named Denby. And I don't know. He's a villain, but that's it. That's all he said. He's a, okay. Is so he, he's really he's a villain in... Uh... All right, yeah. In, yeah, so okay. uh, Leah Sadu, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, is reprising her role as a Bond girl for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol because she's already been a Bond girl pretty much from that movie. Yeah. And Monica Bellucci's in this movie as well, and she's 50, which I think is interesting. 50 years means. old! <laughs> I can kick. <laughs> I can stretch. I, can stretch. <laughs> I hope she does that the whole time. 50. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then reprising their roles are um, Rafe, Mr. Rafe Fiennes. Is, Rafe, yeah, is for sure. M- M- Naomi Harris. Naomi, Naomi Harris. Harris. Ben as... Wishaw. Is that acceptable uh, nomenclature for Ray uh, Fiennes? Rory Kinnear is coming back too. Who was Tanner, who was Tanner? I don't remember who Tanner was. He's like he's, he's Tanner was showed up in I think he like there was always a couple different roles in, since Brosnan where M had like an underling. Um, there was a guy in the Brosnan ones, and then uh, Rory Kinnear as Tanner showed up in Casino Royale. It's just mm. kind of this right hand man. Okay, and uh, so he he's done fine. He's just kind of a good. Um, buffer as well what um oh like let's get ready to rumble oh no different buffer okay Um, different buffer yeah yeah it's time yeah that buffer okay different. yeah so here's okay here's some interesting questions because okay i want to hear an interesting question here well here's the thing so in in casino royale and quantum of solace there is a group established named quantum which is basically the specter of those first two movies people heard them they're like oh okay it's gonna be like specter and it's pretty much like that yes so is Quantum going to be revealed to be Spectre? Is it different? Is it the same? You know, is it or is it going to be like, uh, yeah, it's going to be like a, a Shield versus Wyatt family thing, and two bad guy groups go go at it head to head? You know, right. could be that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm sure. So we'll that's that. that's interesting thing. And are they like in the other uh, in some of the earlier Bond movies? Spectre was. Uh, you know, you would go through and you'd be like, oh, Blofeld's a bad guy from Spectre. And then the next movie would come out and be like, here's this guy you haven't seen yet, but he's part of Spectre too. And they would go back and be like, Dr. No is part of Spectre. So I'm wondering if they'll be like, Silva from uh, Skyfall, he was with us too. Like, I wonder if they'll go back and just try to bring him under their arm that way. Yeah, well, Dr. No announced that he was part of Spectre in, in Dr. No. He, like, he does. That's right, yeah. He basically is like, yes, Mr. Bond, I'm part of a group called Spectre. It's the, and he gives him the whole... Um, uh, acronym and all that stuff. 
Uh, but the old – That's a ridiculous name. Yeah, the old uh, – <laughs> just call yourself Shield. It's much better. Uh, the old uh, – what about Smash? Smirsh. <laughs> Smirsh around. You're man now, dog. Uh, gosh. No, um, those early Connery movies were pretty much all Spectre movies if I'm – Yeah. If I can recall them correctly. I've actually um, – Ian Hanlon, shout out, friend of the show, got me the Connery set. So the first six Connery movies. Uh, for on Blu-ray for my birthday. Currently That's looking nice. for the Roger Moore set. And, uh, well, it, they're interesting. They're like these three movie sets in each one. I'm like, okay, they're going to cram three movies on a disc with bare bones. No, man, these are ultimate editions. Like, these are nice. these are nice quality. You know, I just, I'm, I'm going back and watching these old James Bond movies because I remember when we uh, rented the James, or rent, borrowed the James Bond VHSs from the library. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. We put our name on the waiting list of like, felt like hundreds of people. It's probably like 12 uh, for all these James Bond movies because, you know, in 97, when Goldeneye came out for N64 and all the kids were playing that, that was kind of our introduction to James Bond. Uh, you know, there's the Bronson movies because Goldeneye was out in 95 and, uh, mm -hmm. and Tomorrow Never Dies was 97. You know, like Those movies were coming out uh, then. Uh, Bond kind of experienced, uh, after a, a couple-year break, it kind of uh, experienced a resurgence, similar to what it is right now. Um, right. And, uh, yeah, we were just like – we had the video game. We just watched all these old James Bond movies and uh, they are uh, – uh, it was it was interesting, and so so now I'm going back to watch them, you know, as, as an older person, and uh, I, I enjoy them quite a bit. Super old, super, super old, old, yeah. Alex, it's, what do you think about all this? They're a lot it's easier to, to digest than Taylor. Yeah. Taylor. I mean, I I don't have the same kind of like encyclopedic knowledge you guys have. I don't even really remember some of the old ones. Like if you were like, just which is why I'm rewatching Twenty Four right now. I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> do it. Oh, we should have done that. Well, well, okay, you're, we're, we're 11 months out from a James Bond quiz where I, I will set it up that so that uh, it will be uh, – you, you'll be able to do it. I yeah, will tell so you I this. Can, like, name the guys who play Bond. I've seen probably half Okay, of go them, ahead. But I just don't ahead. have. I'm really curious to hear. If do I can this, name... Do this in order of appearance. Yes, please. Oh, gosh. Okay, Sean you Connery, the first one. Yeah, okay, there you go. Roger Moore. Nope. Oh, George Lazenby. There you go. Yeah, then Roger Moore. Yeah. Then Sean Connery again? <laughs> Did he come back for one? Like Sean really? Connery, he came Sean Connery back from a non for a non Eon movie called. Uh, well, Never well okay, Never okay. Again. Sorry, before that though, he so he, he let did, actually um, came back twice. Yeah, so he in let uh, Lazenby do On a Majesty's Secret Service in '69, and then in '71, I want to say he came back for Diamonds Are Forever, Diamonds and then he forever, left yeah. and came. And he never said never again in the '80s. Yeah, it's like a in '83. A movie it, I've never seen, but I don't really. I, really I watched it. It's, it's a remake it's, of Thunderball. Anyway. It's skippable. It's just kind of. It's just kind of yeah. sad because it's yeah. not. It's not made by Eon. It's made by MGM. It just feels cheap at every at every turn, and it's got Ron Atkinson in it. Oh, uh, and um, I mean that's not the weirdest part. Um, I was going to say it's got John Cleese in it, but John Cleese actually shows up later as R in Mister Other Guy's movies. Alex, keep going. Yeah, keep See how I stopped myself there, Matt. So Roger the Moore. Who's after Roger Moore now? <sighs> one of my, one of my uh, kind of, not favorites, but kind of one who's underappreciated. A very, a very feel, interesting bond. Like, I would know very it. He's one of my favorites, too. Oh, uh, uh, Timothy. Oliphant. Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, and, and you, just, you nope. just threw it. No, you just threw him off, Matt, with that <laughs> Oliphant. <laughs> he just cooked his brain. Did I get the first name? The first yes, name. you got the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have played with it if you did. You're halfway there, living flies. on a prayer. Yeah, he yeah, is. And I, yeah, there you go. Rocketeer. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah Toy knows. Story three. Yes. Yeah. Everybody knows him for that. Who was he in Toy Story three? He was the hedgehog who was very uh, theatrical and proper and British. Seems proper. Oh, I forgot Good Michael proper. Keaton's in Toy Story three is Ken. Michael Keaton. Michael. Oh, oh that's amazing. You Sorry, to... I was like, I thought you meant Michael Caine. No, We're not Michael. Really Keaton. Keaton. convincing to tell me that Michael Ke Michael Keaton's like my favorite actor. The dude's just fantastic. <laughs> Timothy Dalton, and then Timothy Dalton. Come on, man. You're, you're getting <laughs> Pierce Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. <sighs> Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah. Who do you, who's your favorite so far? Mine. Yeah. You probably, probably like Craig. Probably more. Craig. That's okay. I like Craig. I like the intense. Yeah, uh, Bond. It, it was funny actually. You hear what he said about like the more serious Bond. Um, like why it's more serious now? He said uh, he blamed Austin Powers. Awesome powers. <laughs> yes, you can't do that campy stuff, which is fine. I I like it. You can't do this campy direction. stuff anyway. I mean, that's why Batman. You know, stuff gets uh, you know kind of postmodernized and spoofed, and then you have to come back and, and reboot it again in a way. 
Yeah, and be serious about it. You can do yeah. it, like you don't have to like it, it can be serious. It doesn't have to be joyless. I think is it. It's not though, is it? No, I don't think so. I think that there was like some more moments in Casino Royale that are a little bit more fun than you get uh, some winky stuff in Casino Royale Skyfall. when he's like, "Give me a vodka martini." He's like shaking her stern. He's like, "Does it look like I, I give, give a, a damn. damn?" You're like, "Ah, oh, that's what you." Yeah. you said. Although it's funny to be like, yeah, they were a little bit fun. Th- that movie also involves uh, torture of James Bond, so that's a little bit less fun. But, oh, he yeah, but he's hilarious. He's time. getting tortured. He is. He does he's a, a, job a, he's a bit of a wise ass. Yeah. Mads he Mikkelsen is is, uh, is great. I got to watch uh, yeah. that Hannibal series. Ian's a big fan of it. Mad about Mads. Yeah, so Spectre coming out November 6th. November 6th, 2015. First. Probably well, UK first. They did Skyfall in UK first as well. So don't go on IMDb the week of the 6th of November 2015 or else you'll see that they changed uh, Christoph Waltz's um, name to Blofeld almost certainly. Yeah, don't go to Bar Stillwell and not watch the movie and, and talk about it. It wasn't even have, that good. Have Matt. yourself overheard by a table of ladies next to you. Uh, uh, what, but it was it, it came out first but like by by how much? By like a day? Or so? No, no. It was like it was like, uh, it was like it was a, week? a week or like half a week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, Britain, you know, Britain, they, they deserve something, right? It's... Yeah. Well, it was yeah, it's part of it. Yeah. And Skyfall made a buttload of money. Made a lot of so cash. Spectre is going to make a lot of money too because James of Bond is popular overseas, which makes sense. And this has just been an interesting kind of film announcement to me. I don't remember them announcing um, Skyfall quite like this. Yeah, I they think have like a the, whole event. They unveiled the the car. car. Oh, we didn't talk about the car, but that's fine. It's just a car. Well, it's it's it's, it's a really awesome nice car. Aston Martin. I would I would yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go for it, but you know, I'm just waiting for Bond to drive a Tesla. Well, yeah, that might. Then it's going to the charging station for 45 minutes. And yeah, Q. Yeah, well, let's call him stop. Uh, yeah, I was thinking it'd be interesting if Michael Caine played a Bond, just because I read his book and I thought that'd be interesting. But he did make uh, do some movies that was produced by. Uh, broccoli, broccoli and um, what's his name? Saltzman. Oh yeah, he did a uh, movie called the uh, Ipcris File, which is like a spy movie series trilogy that he did, and he also did a movie called Battle of Britain. So I was like, oh, Michael Caine nice. should show up in the James Bond movies. All right, James Bond. See, I I'm Michael Caine. He should play himself. Isn't Harry Brown kind of like a J- an old James Bond kind of character? Uh, kind of. I mean, and Michael Caine, he was he was buddies with Connery too. He, he talks about hanging out with Connery in the. In in his book, uh, well, Connery used to be an amateur bodybuilder too. Yeah, he oh, was yeah. he was like a model. I think yeah, like a, a, well, I guess there wasn't really pro bodybuilders back then, but like a legit bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. like amateur, like in competitions. And when he, when like he was that. when he was young, I'm not sure how old he was when he did uh, Doctor No. Oh, geez, this is like the 50s. So. Yeah, but he got he went right from bodybuilding to being James Bond. He wasn't He's an actor like before that. He looked and he, it, you know what's funny is that he he looked he looked fine without a shirt on. He doesn't look you know out of shape or anything, but he he does look like a 60s in shape guy. You know, I mean, now we're turned to out of shape in shape guy. Gambling's illegal in these parts. You got a problem with that? Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for you to exhale. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do. Sorry, it's a Family Guy clip. You should all look up uh, that I will uh, find. Uh, regardless, no, Sean. <laughs> that uh, I will find. <laughs> Sean looks I'm good. I'm really interested. Now you better find that one for me, actually. Sean, he was actually he was a super good looking guy back in the back in the day. He's Sean good, Connery, for yeah, sure. he's a good looking cat. Yeah, he's a good looking cat. Yeah, if I can wake up tomorrow and just be Sean Connery, Xanadu. And to be Sean Connery now, I don't know. I'll be like, oh my no, gosh. No, and my even the hair loss so thing much. would be a bit of a problem. Well, he lives in the like, Bahamas. Well, I don't really care about hair loss. He, he you know, had. He had um, What's that stupid? Don't movie? care about hair loss? What are you saying? Uh, it was uh, Zardoz, Alex. That's Zardoz. You're thinking of, where he wears that ridiculous. You're, thinking about, you're, you're confusing Sean Connery with Olivia Newton John. I am. I get him confused all the time. I know. No, I confuse uh, Zanadu with the Rush, the, the Rush song, not the movie, but the Rush song. What was the name of that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Yes, um, yeah, Sean Connery. Speaking of uh, bodybuilders, there's yes. a bodybuilder with a very <laughs> prominent movie that's coming out, and this guy is the guy who brought pro, pro bodybuilding. Yes, to the he's mainstream. The guy, he's the guy who did it. And this is another Franco this will be, Colombo. This will just be a very brief trailer review, I think, um, but, or just a mention of it, at least. or just a mention of it because Alex hasn't seen it yet. But you know, Terminator Genesis with a Y for some reason uh, has Cute. a trailer out now starring um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Amelia Clark, am I right about that? Amelia, Jason yeah, Clark, the mother of dragons. Not related. Jason Clark. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Who hold played on. mother? Who, mother? Yeah, sorry. And I was a guy crap who's all over this movie, but Amelia Clark's in it. 
Yeah, she yes. plays, oh, I've uh, seen it like ten times. Yeah, yeah see, I was gonna. Uh, that's funny, Alex. You were talking about how you didn't care about, it, and I was like, oh, you don't know that Khaleesi is Sarah Connor? Okay, whatever. Oh, she's my favorite person of all time. She uh, actually looks a little like uh, Linda Hamilton too. So I like. She's that. also. Oh, how dare you say something like that? Hey, Sorry, Linda Hamilton. She looks like, a, she looks like a Linda Khaleesi. Hamilton with the the good looking turn up. My Khaleesi. A few degrees. Right. A few, I think like a billion. Linda Hamilton's like <laughs> dog compared to her. Yeah, you heard me, Linda. <laughs> wow. Uh, you haven't seen the uh, you haven't seen 1984's James Terminator. James Cameron, your ex-wife, woof. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's the okay? Well, Ooh, Ka- who's Catherine, the who's uh, the main character? Like who's the guy in the trailer whose name I can't think of? Who's uh, not Kyle Charlie Reese? Hunnam? Was yeah? Who plays Kyle Reese? Uh, Jay Courtney. And he Jay was Courtney. In, okay. Uh, uh, the other Die Hard movie. He is just this I don't guy. Know. He, he's, he's a, like he's a very, piece, he's a cracker. He's, he's a very okay. He's a white guy I, now. I didn't mean. All right, <laughs> as I didn't as, mean as, as our way. As are the three of us. No, he's um, yeah, Jay Courtney. Of course, he's from Australia because freaking everybody is these days. Uh, who's an actor? Same with Jason. Sa- same with Jason Clark. That jerk. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, he uh, to me looks a lot. He's a very Sam Worthington type looking dude. Oh my god, he's Sam just, Worthington, Charlie Hunnam. Yeah, Jay Courtney, yeah, yeah, all the same person. Yeah, Charlie Hunnam, the dude from Sons of Anarchy, does not fit into that villain. Sure sure I, I, I think that dude I think from so. Iron Man three, though, mm, like the bad ish guy from Iron Man three. Oh yeah, the <laughs> chewing guy. I don't even know his name, but him. But not he was, Charlie. He was in Hunnam. like ten different movies. I'm have to look uh, him up. Who else was I thinking of? Oh, the guy in uh, Tron two. Who was the guy in Tron two? Garrett Hedlund. Garrett Hedlund. Yeah, he kind, he's kind of that oh, that category. Guys. What are we even talking about here? Just everyone looks alike now? Yes, all white guys look alike. All y'all look alike. Oh, man. <laughs> Wipe yourself off. You did. You mean uh, Tito. <laughs> Tell us what we have And I'll breakfast. be here all week doing my yes. Chris Tucker from Rush Hour 2. Yeah, break. there you go. Yeah. Not Rush Hour 1? No. <laughs> not Rush Hour 3. Absolutely, absolutely not. Drawing have I ever told right you to there. check out Chris Tucker's IMDb? It's just Rush Hour. It's just Rush Hour. Rush yeah. Hour 2, yeah. Rush Hour 3. I think our second podcast we touched on that. Well, I'm touching on it again. The, the, the throwback. Anyway, this the, uh, the trailer The trailer for Genesis looks kind of cool. I'm not sure what story they're trying to tell, though, because it looks like they already – it looks like they're just doing Terminator 2 again, really, because they have um, – It looks like they're kind of doing Terminator 1 again. Uh, You're just distracted by T-1000. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he's come, yeah. Because the machine, so it's young Arnold sent back to kill Sarah Connor, and so they have an old Arnold there teaming up with Sarah Connor to kill the young Arnold. And then there's a T one or T eight hundred or one thousand or whatever the heck, played by. Oh, I'm gonna get this name wrong. Doop doop dooby doo doo. But he's in the GI Joe movies. He's a Korean fella. Um, Hyun Yoon something. <laughs> wow, you guys really let me out, hang me out to dry here. I don't know if it's going to be there. I was going to try it. Uh, like but he plays... Yao Ming. Yeah, what was it? It? No. It's not. Ow. Shockingly, no, it's not Yao Ming making we just lost all our. Movie. We just lost all our Korean listeners. Yeah. B, uh, Young Hun Hyun Lee is his name. And he plays... Okay, there you go. By Gangnam Style. Uh, no, dude. <laughs> by the way, I read today that... That's, that's the right country, though. Good job. I read today that Gangnam Style broke the YouTube counter. Because the YouTube used, used to use a 32-bit counter for, like, uh, a video. So you could get up to 2.147 billion hits, uh, and uh, it would it would stop counting there. So now it uses a 64-bit uh, counter, which you can get up to about 9 quadrillion hits. Or 9 quintillion oh. hits, pardon me. Okay, there you go. That's so uh, so in 10 years when uh, Gangnam Style has 9 quintillion, nine quintillion hits, hits. I'll change it again. It's these bo- don't they have like bots or something they can use to like watch a video over and over again? Because it's I literally, I think it's impossible that two point one four seven billion people have watched this. They, music they video. didn't no, watch they don't it. Do, they don't go Ten people, people they go watched it. Views. Yeah, it's views. It's not individual people. It's like when That's McDonald's would people, say like ninety nine billion, billion sold, and I was like, uh, billion, what? Billion, what? Billion, million. How yeah, old is like this? Com- give ourselves up, um, please. Hello, <laughs> hello, <laughs> hi. We realize we don't have a chance. Uh, we like to be a happy meal if we could. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so yeah, Terminator Genesis. I'm just happy Look to good. see. Uh, I'm happy to see it, Arnold uh, back in the saddle, doing his thing. Yeah. He's very yeah. excited, and uh, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. Actually, got to see who's uh, directing this uh, piece of uh, film. I hope it's not McG. Uh, it's Alan Taylor. No, it's not McG. Oh, Man, God, Terminator geez. Salvation sucked. Alan Taylor, who did Thor: Never Dark World it. and Palookaville in 1995. There you go. Oh, and some Game of Thrones Clark. episodes, so he knows how to deal with Ms. Clark. I say Ms. Clark because she's not taken, Amelia. 
Sorry, that was my proposal. And it was also really creepy. Yes, well, <laughs> I, I laid my cards bare. Mm-hmm. Sure Covering did. up nothing else. Oh, I watched the movie. You sure the week. did. I expo- Sorry, well, Speaking of laying bare and exposing myself, no, I exposed no. myself to, what? A new, Where's... to a new series oh of, of films uh, that's also based on uh, uh, books. Oh, work. you watched I was gonna say the works of Hunger fiction. Games. So I watched Hunger Games and sh- ch- Chasing Fire. Chasing, Chasing fire. fire. Chasing Amy. The Girl on Fire. And then Mocking like Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back. I mean, obviously, I, I, I see a lot of parallels between Hunger Games and, and Harry Potter. I wonder if, like, the girl who, the girl on fire and, and the boy who lived maybe team up at yeah. some point to do the Harry oh, Potter be, Katniss Everdeen crossover. I think that would be pretty... Yeah. Pretty awesome. Except well, I don't think her bow and arrow would be much of a chance. It would okay, much too much a bow and arrow in uh, a series, hey? I don't think her bow and arrow would stand much of a chance against, um, what do you call them, wands. wands. Or right. I want to see her go up against Egret from uh, Game of Thrones because Egret was pretty good with the, with the bow and arrow too. Be pretty, it's... be pretty, <laughs> pretty <laughs> cut and, uh, dry right now, Will. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Game of Thrones spoiler for you. So, um, uh, is Egret dead in Game of Thrones? No, Sh- absolutely no. not. I'm never going to watch it. Just tell me. Not when the show no, starts. because there's it's not just you listening. Mom's okay, listening. Fine. She's a big Game of Thrones well, okay. fan. Wait, hold on. This would have happened last season, right? Like yes. eight months ago? The most, okay. the most recent season. All right. It, it, oh, it, it, took, yeah. it took quite a while. <laughs> I will say, too, that uh, AMC spoiled a Walking Dead <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did they, I didn't see that? What was it? Well, what, what it was do? was uh, after the East Coast airing of Walking Dead, they posted a picture of this uh, character and said R.I.P. Uh, but everybody on the West Coast best. did not yet see the episode, so they're just like, great. And of all people, Trish Stratus spoiled it for me on Twitter, so thanks, Trish. Uh, but yeah, that's dish. what I get. That's what I get for checking. Twi- we call her Tri- Trish the Dish. Uh, the Dish. That, that's the why. Dish. That's why She's I don't uh, check. Um, shouldn't check the ep- uh, internet if there's an episode of television or some show that's out that you don't want uh, spoiled for you. That's why I always watch Game of Thrones right away. I don't want that spoiled. Oh for yeah, me at all. Don't, Walking Dead. Yeah. I don't care as much. I don't. I really la, la, I don't la, la, care la. as much. Yeah, but Game of Thrones don't touch. Which is funny. I will tell you. Which is weird because that, that series exists in its entirety in book form. And, well, not in, not in its entirety yet, but I know what you mean. Matt. Yes, yet, it, is, yes. it is. Book. It is. And Walking very Dead. Weird to me. Walking no, Dead I, is okay. Based on, I get that. They're based on graphic novels too. I just find it odd that everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, what's going to happen next?" I, we've had this conversation before, but it's like, well, "Oh yeah, how we've good. talked about this how is it's crazy." It's like it exi- You can find out. Yeah, but Matt, you have to respect the medium. I'm not. Yeah, that's okay. true. I'm, how am I not so, respecting the medium? Like because people who started watching it, like yes. I didn't know what the books were beforehand. I'm not going to go back and start reading the books now because the no? first three books are covered. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 and just I be it. nice to people is is the thing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I will be nice to people. I just don't get it. I just yeah. don't get it. Nah, you're kind just of you're kind of pretentious about it. Actually, love, just love love everybody like you, like I've loved you, Matt. Come on. Uh, okay. Well, no, do well. They're, they're, uh, the uh, Game of Thrones. I could I could read the book. Didn't I could read the books. Harry Potter. Didn't learn his lesson from Harry. I could, <laughs> <laughs> I, I could read the books, but I, I choose instead to just enjoy it uh, at the television show on its own merits. Because uh, it's a really well done show. In fact, it's my favorite show on television. When's the, when's the next season coming out? Would it be? It would be coming, March. Uh, yeah, March or so. Yeah, yeah March. What season is this? It would be fifth, fifth, season. fifth season. Yeah, fifth. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's a good time. Um, but uh, I digress. Back to another uh, series of books that became Hunger something Games. else. The Hunger Games. So I, I think of them. Uh, yeah, I I, I like them. I, I actually liked the first uh, uh, two movies. Uh, and Mockingjay, I'll say, came at the end of a long day. <laughs> Uh, so that was a little bit of a nodder for me, but Matt, uh, but but I do even at the end of a long I'm day. That's blame on this one, you guys. I'm I do think I, I see where you're going with that, Matt, about Mockingjay. Now I'm not sure how it's going to wrap up. So right, I don't know what I can say about Mockingjay if it's spoiling it because it. Hmm. Yeah, this actually this is a catch uh, catch thirty two, right? Well, just we, be, we just, can't just, talk about the Game of Thrones books because we're waiting for the show, and I don't want to talk about this movie in case people might have already read the book. But anyway, it does um, – it doesn't do – I can say this doesn't do as good a job as Harry Potter did when um, Voldemort finds the something, the wand, the Elder Wand or something, right? And that's where they oh, okay. split up uh, right. Harry Potter uh, 7 and 8. So yes. it's actually – I mean it's kind of cool the stuff that's going on with Katniss and, uh, and Peeta. I thought that was uh, that was surprising to me. Uh, 
so that's kind of where they cut that off. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like the first, I thought the first two were cool. There's just some stuff about the unit, like the universe. I don't understand. First of all is, um, <laughs> Uh, Pan Am is that on Earth? <laughs> Obviously, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, in the books, they su- they in the books they make a they say a few things to suggest that Pan Am is it is the United States in the future, and in like, like the far far future. Like what year is it? Uh, what year? Y- you could give it a, it's a couple hundred years, but like they don't have a real yeah, sense of our history at all. Um, yeah, so it could they, be a few hundred years. I, I think that the idea is uh, district. 13 is like in the Rockies, but Katniss's District 12 is in like Kentucky. Yeah, because she's like. That's kind of where that. That's kind of where. Yeah, so the, are going. the yeah. districts. Are they are they decided by like concentric circles Rockies? or something? Um, They're ju- I think it's just regions. It's like, well, here's the. Uh, you yeah, know, this used to be. Uh, this used to be a say, mine. I was going to say New Orleans, but that, that seems like the least so, likely. So place the way to the way I see it is that the fur- the, the higher number districts are further out, right? And then like District 1 and 2, they love. Because like oh, yeah, the kids. The that's kids, a good point. Maybe it is concentric. Uh, it might be because like because the kids. It's like the kids in District One. Like oh yeah, they're trained to be in these Hunger Games. They're awesome. And then uh, in District Twelve, they had like what? They had one champion, which was uh, Haymitch. Haymitch. Yeah. Uh, wonderfully played by uh, uh, by Mr. Uh, Woody Harrelson. And he was father. No, and he was father no was a control man too. Have you seen him uh, find out that the Hemsworth brothers are, are brothers? <laughs> Wait, he's what? in an interview with with uh, Chris Ham- with uh, Liam Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth. And they're talking about like, "Oh, your brother's Thor," and Woody Harrelson's just like looking. He's like, "What?" He's like, and Liam's like, "Yeah, we're brothers." He's like, "I did not know that." <laughs> yeah, like, I will say right. that uh, I will say that Liam l- ends up looking right, like. I'll say something about uh, Gail's character. He ends up looking like a bitch in these movies because <laughs> he's <laughs> he does, like, he, "Yeah, Katniss, I love you, but you love this other guy, so that's cool." That's just for the Hunger Games. You can, yeah, but I don't know. he's named after a type of bread. I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Gail, I've never had Gail no, bread Peter. before. Have you had Peter Force before? wins? Oh man, I, I just, I, yeah, I'm just like, uh, I would, like I would be like, sissy. Uh, I would be like, homie, don't play that. I'm like, I'm sure you can find another girl in District 12 who's not, Child, please. Who's not on fire or you know anything else like that. Um, How they didn't work that song in, I don't get. It. This girl's this on fire. Girl is on fire. Uh, and Jennifer Lawrence, uh, I like. I think she is a little bit hammy in some of the scenes, though. In these uh, in these movies, yeah. a little bit. I mean, you oh, know, yeah. she's uh, she's full on hamster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what Hammy is short for. So, Hammy so Hammy's hamster. short for hamster. Also, I do like that uh, Cinna is a main character, and as far as I know, it's just her fashion designer. And yes, I hate that. It's so stupid. <laughs> so it's so stupid. Like, we should... oh my gosh. Yeah, Lenny and then Kravitz. and then in Catching Fire, he gets beat up. I gotta go my way. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh no, it's gold eyeshadow. Oh my uh, gosh. Like that's it's a main dumb. character, and there's actually a main part in Mockingjay where it's like, yes, we've. Design this outfit for you, Katniss. It's like, well, like, like, I just mean. like it so bad. Like all that stuff, you're like kind of excusable. I'm like, this is so ridiculous, <laughs> completely. Like, there's no redeeming qualities. Like, they're it's not like even getting into the moral issue here, which is you have like a seven year old who just got shot by an arrow, and everyone's just like, eh. I like that it's just like her trip to Cube Ranch is going to her fashion designer. Yeah, like, well, we have to we have to get something new. So let's go. <laughs> let's try to bring it back in one piece. Will you, Katniss? Please don't get sliced by a sword this time. Oh my gosh! How's it not played by Tim Gunn? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh my god! Let's come over here. And he's just like Tim Gunn. He's just like an ageless person. He's just like not even playing anybody else. But it's not himself. Santa. It's just Tim Gunn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, but uh, shout out to um, Bridgewater Zone. Um, Donald Sutherland for oh uh, yeah so, yeah represent. represent. He's pretty Actually, good in those movies. Is he from Bridget? Yeah, he's uh, Donald Sutherland's awesome. He's an awesome actor. Yeah, he's cool. But yeah, I I I liked him. Um, what else about the world though? Uh, yeah, real it, quick on those Donald Sutherland. Actually, I yes. saw a I was at a I was at a chapters and I saw a magazine that was like for old people, and <laughs> on the front it of it called? was like Donald Sutherland's. Like still hot at seventy or something like that. Yeah, like this awesome. weird, like oh, this guy—he's never looked better than when he was seventy <laughs> years old. It's just like that's Sean odd. Sean Connery centerfold. <laughs> Check me out. I'm just laying out in the grass in the Bahamas. <laughs> you, sh- you think my hair's going, eh? Anyway, uh, with apologies, to Sean Connery. So, 
Yes. Yeah, so Sorry, go ahead. What, what else was I going to ask about the universe of, of, of Pan Am? Um, because they kind of the explain it at the beginning of Hunger, Hunger Games, just like this, this, and this. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> and this is why we send kids to fight to the death. It's like, what? I glossed over that a little quickly, I thought. Um, maybe maybe it could have benefited from a Pacific Rim type, uh, maybe a little extra time explaining everything. But I'm not sure. My roommate has the book. I can borrow it from him. But I'm not sure how they present it in the book. But I thought the stuff got explained a little, a little pretty, quickly. It's pretty similar. Pretty sim- okay, so it's just like, yeah, yeah. so uh, this happens, and they send people off to fight. And yeah. There you go. So enjoy that. Okay. How do you like uh, How do you like the Hunger Games ripoff Stormtroopers? Okay, so obviously I saw the the Star Wars parallels. There's actually one point, and this isn't spoiling it, in Mockingjay with like, yes, we're a bunch of – there's the new um, – the <laughs> mayor rebels. of District 13 played by Julia – Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. <laughs> Julia Moore. For, for some reason, she's got these weird contacts in. Not weird, but like she got like hazel eyes or something, which must have been a big, big point in the book where it's like, yeah, sure you it was not. Well, then I don't know why they changed right color. And what, what, uh, what, what is her character's name? Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't remember. No, it it's often. okay. I, be- I believe it's Alma Coin, uh, <laughs> which is very. Da- oh my gosh, the names in Hunger Games. Where uh, Alma Coin? Yes, President Alma Coin. Oh, she's not even a. Yeah, she's not a. Pre- uh, she's a president. Of, yeah, she's um, president of District 13. Of District 13. You I gave thought, her quite the, the downgrade. I Cat thought they would have... never clean. I thought they would have mayors and not... Uh, <laughs> God, I'm funny. But well, also, uh, Alex, uh, of Game of Thrones uh, connection to Mockingjay Part 1 is Natalie Dormer plays a uh, girl with, uh, with her head shaved, one yeah. half of it. That's another thing in the books that I didn't think worked really well. She cute, though. She, <laughs> she cute, though. She's the uh, next queen, so she cute, though. Uh, but yeah, Hunger Games. Uh, I didn't mind. I'll, I'll see part two of Mocking Jade to see how this whole uh, whole fang ends up. All those crazy shenanigans. Into- All the shenanigans. Yeah. Um, I'm glad but, you saw it. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and Jeffrey Wright. There's the uh, James Bond connection. I was going to ask about Jeffrey Wright. Uh, oh yes, that's right. Did uh, and that rhymes. No, uh, no, did no, he no. bite the dust in a in a movie that I wasn't aware of? Did he Did he bite it in uh, Quantum? No. No, did, he, he just bite in Skyfall. Or he just went away because he was Felix, he's just, right? He's not. He's just not in Skyfall. He's just not in Skyfall. Yeah, there's okay. not like there's no real CIA presence. I would be if he came back for Spectre. Yeah, I'd it's pretty that. pretty British. Oh, I thought he was. Yeah, there's, I thought there's he was actually English, but he's American. He's, he's American. American. There's actually zero American actors in wrong. Skyfall. I don't think there's any American characters in Skyfall. Good. That's the way it should be. Duh. It's kind of weird to see that though. It's like, those, oh, okay. those jerks. Well, it's also weird that they have yeah. they have Judy J- Dench from the Bond series, and then like everybody else is new. Was she the only? We're all over the map this week, by the way. Was yes. she the only uh, holdover from um, from Die Another Day? Yeah. So only she. Yeah. So I know because I know they retired. Q, Her yes. and Billy Dee Williams is Harvey Dent and <laughs> Batman Forever but Returns. Yeah, yeah, Batman Returns Forever. Um, okay. Yeah. Again. So Dench, Dench was the carryover because I, I know in, in Die Another Day they had uh, John Cleese all lined up oh to play uh, what they would call unofficially R, and he uh, kind of uh, well they set that away. they set that up in uh, the world is not enough. Oh yes, um, okay, and then if, if anybody out there hasn't seen Die Another Day, don't. In fact, if you ever confront with a copy of it, just break it. I'm very <laughs> like I have the Bond fifty Blu-ray set, and I'm uh, I've considered just snapping the disc. Uh, well, Die Another okay. Day is, a, is is garbage. It's the worst. It's easily the worst Bond film. And if you've seen some of the Bond films, that might sound like I'm overreacting, but I am not. That That's that's okay. Snapping a perfectly good disc in half would be overreacting because it's not doing anything it's to you. It would be perfectly player. good. No, it's holding it's holding Die Another Day on there so that it can be watched. I got to watch. I got to. Mm, yeah. I got to go back and watch it just to see. We should hate watch it then. Yeah, something like that. It's, hate watch. I know. That's a thing. It's not a thing, is it? Hate watch, sure it is. People are, you know, the Peter Pan special that was on NBC last week. That was a whole thing people wanted to hate watch. Oh, really? Yeah. So was yeah. Uh, Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever. Definitely gonna see that. I'd see it in theaters if I could. Uh, it's not. It was on. It looks Light- hilariously bad. It was on Lifetime TV, and I saw some of it, and it was almost not very good. Um, one movie almost I do want to see good. that's also not in theaters, but it's on DVD is Larry the Cable Guy and Jingle All the Way Too. What? I no, check they didn't do a sequel. Out. Oh, of course. Yeah, starring is he, Larry is he the playing Arnold? Is, she playing, uh, is he playing Arnold Schwarzenegger's character? Yeah, he was on actually Monday he Night Raw two weeks in a row. Had, You're my favorite customer. 
It had <laughs> you're my favorite coach. <laughs> it had uh, Grumpy Cat who kept falling asleep on the air, which is really funny. And yeah, then Larry cat. the Cable Guy. I know it's a cat, but I just well, I'm just picturing Vince McMahon just like in Get the position. Damn yeah, yeah. Up. <laughs> Wake up, damn it! <laughs> that's, yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's the funny part to me is it's like they expect this cat just to sit like on live TV, like. It does okay in a movie when it just sits there in Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> oh, weird! Yet. I just I just realized, yeah, it had to play itself in a movie. That's oh, well, how did I not realize that? They didn't and the CGI other funny thing cat. about the other funny thing about uh, <laughs> well, there was one point where it was played by a stuffed cat double, so that's okay. It wasn't that makes sense. put in danger when it smashed through a window. Um, oh, but uh, yeah, it doesn't do its own stunts. The other funny thing is that on Raw, Michael Cole kept calling it a he, and Jerry the King Waller had to keep correcting. It's a girl, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. The default is that cats are girls. How can Michael not know that? Yeah, okay, yeah. Dogs are boys and cats are girls. Everybody knows this. That's the same assumption. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I right. know, maybe almost one hundred percent of the time. Maybe associates Grumpy with the dwarf uh, Grumpy from uh, Snow White and the Seven of the same uh, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White and the Huntsman dwarf. Yeah. Uh, would you snap That's that dwarf. movie in half? I haven't seen it. I have seen it. I saw it in theaters for like $2 because uh, uh, Saskatoon has a second-run theater that is awesome. We don't have it in Halifax, and I hate it. Uh, and it, it was okay. It was okay. Worth, was, yeah, it worth, right. was it worth 2 bucks? Was it worth $2? It was worth $2, yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it was you, fine. You can get ripped off. They were, they were in a sequel. I don't really care. So, but yeah, 2 bucks, sure. Oh, really? Snow yeah. White and the Huntsman 2? Is that just like the lazy title coming it, up with? No, what is it I called? It's just I think about it, the Huntsman, but maybe I'm very wrong. I think it's called Snow White and the Huntsman. <laughs> There's a crucial character who's not in it, but is in the title, or was at least. Oh, okay. Oddly um, titled. Snow White. Uh, yeah, it was, it was Hemsworth, too, right? It was playing yes. um, Yeah, yeah. Huntsman. He's throwing it up. Of he even Redon's had an axe, too. Fame. He had an axe instead of a hammer. Ba- ba- back, back to uh, See, the, the Hemsworth, Huntsman though. Wasn't... was just called The Huntsman. Oh, it's just called The Huntsman. Okay. Oh, Darabont's go. doing oh, it? Oh, and, he, and, he, and he's in it. Oh, how about Darabont's that? doing it. Frank Darabont, huh? Do you give, give Darabont a lot of... No, his cousin Doug. Doug Dar- Darabont. Doug Darabont? He did um, Jingle All the Way 2 and uh, the Grumpy Cat movie. Yeah, I Jingle All the Way. Uh, yeah, The Huntsman. Write the screenplay with some other people probably. Oh, he also did Adventures of Young Indiana Jones, Daredevils of the Desert, and The Phantom Train of Doom. Oh, how about that? Good on you, Derry. Good on you. Sorry your channel spoiled your show for you, but... Didn't hurt your ratings any, so there you go. I know the ratings like um, exceed like Sunday Night Football now. It's ridiculous. That's yeah, crazy. I stopped watching a couple of years ago. Actually, I got really into it at first because the pilot was just kind of really. Oh, it was an awesome out. pilot. Yeah, and then and then, and then, it, pilot, and then it and then it disappointed itself. But th- I'll say this season has been probably their best season since the first one, in my opinion. Right. But I remember watching like maybe halfway through season three or early season four. What season are we on now? Five. They're on five. Yeah. So it's probably the first couple episodes of season four. And I was just like, everyone could die right now, and I wouldn't care. Like, yeah. I don't care what happens to any of the characters. The infighting's stupid. It's just like a cause for conflict that makes no sense whatsoever. And I just, I totally get out of it. I was just I like, have a question. you know what? I don't care. I have a, I have a Walking Dead question. Is there, is there a sense in Walking Dead that the world will ever get better? Or is no. it just like we're we're just trying to survive? As They're just trying can. to survive. Well, uh, from, was, what, from what I've seen, sorry. Um, this season there was a character who had a cure. What? Wow. Spoiler. But uh, but uh, it's yeah, it's something is revealed, and uh, that's not necessarily the case. But that was a couple okay. episodes ago, so I can say that I think. And I won't say who it is, but if you're watching, you it's pretty obvious who it is because the only person who says they have a cure. But I will, like, yeah. What? Uh, so somebody says they have a cure, and it gets revealed that basically they were lying about it. Wow. Just keep – and Matt Damon was in Interstellar. He's <laughs> in Interstellar. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else can we spoil? Uh, milk. Have you seen Interstellar Just leave yet? it out. Leave it out. Of the oh, pitch. my God. So funny. Milk. Speaking of <laughs> – <laughs> okay. I, I went to Sean see. Penn. I, saw, I went to see Milk when it came out, like what, six years ago. Sure. And yeah. I'll, I'll use the term Matt enjoys. My girlfriend at the time <laughs> was going with me, and so she goes online and reads the synopsis. Synopsis. Yeah, you're right. Synopsis. Yeah. This synopsis. 
And she's and like, she's oh, like, he dies. Oh, my God. Way to go. She's like, spoiled. I was like, what? She's like, well, it says he dies. I'm like, yeah, it's a true it's story. Based on, it's based on a person. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, based on a person. That's okay to know. It's going to happen at the end of Inglorious Bastards. It's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So, Actually, that's, that's a little Get your different. mind right. And then you, if you haven't seen the movie, spoilers for Milk, uh, like in the first two seconds, they're like, I can announce that Harvey Milk is dead. And you hear someone in the background be like, what? Can I announce but, something uh, that I read last last week? It's about a show I don't watch, but it's about a man who is a, a walking, living spoiler, so to speak. And he wasn't a James Bond movie. He was in Goldeneye, Mr. Sean Bean. Uh, yeah. the, his TNT show Legends got renewed for season two. So Good for him. he survived a season of television. I'm really happy for Sean because he dies in everything he's in. Scene Bean. Scene Bean. Go watch Equilibrium. He survives that. Or does he? I don't know. Question mark. You know, Equilibrium doesn't hold up as well as... I oh, no, it doesn't hold up well at all. <laughs> at all. You know what else I found didn't hold up well? Uh, what? And you guys, I don't know, you guys may hate me for saying this. Oh, I'm afraid Unbreakable I'm f- doesn't, uh, doesn't. Oh, really? Unbreakable? Well. I saw Unbreakable for the first time like a year ago. And I hey, you, you, me, you and me both, man. Internet Good. high five. I liked it, man. Yeah, there it is. There you go. I liked it. He goes to an Eagles game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yep, that's the whole point of the movie is he goes Sorry, to is there more to that movie Eagles than the fact he goes to an Eagles game? It, it, it's like Paul F. Tompkins talking about there will be blood. <laughs> it's about a guy trying to keep uh, meeting on track. and uh... Maybe it's the Shyamalan hindsight where you're like, oh, Shyamalan. I didn't, I didn't mind it. The cracks I, I enjoyed appeared it. pretty quick. Didn't Robin Wright is in it, I believe. Maybe, so maybe that, if you that know the twist. The of sins. Yeah, if you know the twist going into it. maybe You have weird reasons for liking things. Um, the the twist does? doesn't seem yeah. odd. Why is that? Not. Weird reasons for liking. You know, it holds up perfectly. The Princess Bride. Uh, yeah, and I had Goonies. somebody tell me that they didn't like that movie, but he's, he's also he is very. Um, My name is Inigo Montoya. He has uh, offensive opinions at times, and he listens to the show. So uh, shout out to you, buddy. But uh, like he was part in, of uh, uh, the way. He was part of community. There you go. He was part of my team uh, at Pub Trivia the other night, and we came in first in the second round. Oh my god! No Good one cares about hey. your stupid Pub Trivia. Is there a pub trivia in Halifax? We gotta go. Yeah, there's, there's like, like there's, there's pub like trivia everywhere. Yeah. Well, I had any friends, I'd go to one. <laughs> okay, well we'll go to one when I come home and um, no. however many days it is no. for Trouble Trap Podcast Sunday. Team. That could be okay. I don't yeah, know where they right. are, by the way. I just I figure they exist. Well, <laughs> this one of Rogue's Roost. There was one of the Pogue Fado, but the Pogue Fado is no mo. Pogue Fado. Pogue Fado is no mo. Shout out to the Pogue. They were a sponsor of ours and. Um, Unfortunately, Go to the Pogue, yell out Triple Threat Podcast, and get arrested for breaking and entering. <laughs> for breaking and entering. <laughs> and you could get bitten by a rat and get rabies. Get rabies. So enjoy um, that. Um, when, you get, when you get bit by the rat, you get 10% off. So, so I have a, a thought, and I don't know yes. how, if we're still in the movie talk or I can just change topics. Completely. We're all over the board. Oh, man. No, we're, 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 we're approaching one track. the end here. We're going to be you know, like a total <laughs> careening this toward be a conclusion. a stupid question, but I thought I should add content for once. Okay, I was let's thinking. Please. Because yes. the Great Cup was, uh, you know, last weekend in yes. relation to the Stamps and Bo Levi Mitchell. By the yes. way, Bo Levi Mitchell, the most incredible name of all time. Top ten oh, names a, ever. I mean, it's just three first names. You got to oh, be a so good. Bo Levi. Bo oh, <laughs> such a good, such a good first name. Like I would never really? name a kid that. Or yeah, because Bo, like well, you should though. Bo our, knows. No, we can't name Bo our knows. kids anything that's like single syllable. Can't be Bo Vaughn. Yeah, well, it sound like Mo Vaughn. He did good. No, it sound like Bo Vine, which is a friggin' yeah, which is a cow. So I'm sorry. That's a reason to be a really fat kid. Yeah, it's can, kind of can, can't name a kid James Vaughn because it's too close to James kid. Bond. But that'd be so cool, though. Uh, I know. Well, maybe I will. Alex, Alex what was your so uh, what was your thing? Yeah. So yeah, because of the, yeah. I was thinking, and they kind of had this thing in the NFL a couple years ago when someone was like 0 and 12, and they're like, who would win between them and Alabama, who's the number one college team in the oh. country? So the worst so football team against the best college team. Yeah, yeah. No. 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 The the Stampeders. Yes. Against like the Oakland the Raiders. The Raiders. Raiders. No. Yeah. What are they? Are they playing? So, Canadian here's, or the, American? here's the things you're playing Depends Canadian rules. rules. Okay. Okay. And well, they're the, 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 the same win, no doubt. Yeah. Two <laughs> weeks to prep Super Bowl style. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is it. Okay. Who wins? Uh, the Stamps. I think Stamps under Canadian really? rules. You think under the Canadian stamps? rules. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. They know how to like... think about three downs. They know how to think think the game differently. They're playing on a bigger field. The Raiders can hardly play on the NFL size field. <laughs> I okay. think I think the Do you I, disagree think, on I just think the rule quick. no I think the I think the Raiders would have better athletes on their team. Oh my I god. I think that the rules would benefit the Stamps a little bit more so it's a tie 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, if, you know <laughs> whose opinion I like on this? <laughs> Who's? <laughs> I wanted I wanted it to be we'll longer. Yes. 
whose opinion? Oh, uh, uh, you want uh, the spider? Oh, I want Wayne's. I want you Wayne's want the spider to weigh in? <laughs> the spider would say there's no ch- no way, and the Rock means no way that the Oakland Raiders could beat the. I don't know what Timmy thinks. I want to know what you all think. Raiders. Oakland Raiders or the Jacksonville Jaguars against the Stamps? Two weeks to prep. If they had a full season, if the Raiders stadium, played at Wembley. I don't know. If the Raiders had like a year in the CFL, they'd win hands down. Right. But but other than that, because I mean, yeah, it's just it's better players, top to bottom. Right. On the how different are the rules, really? You just one less uh, down or bigger, bigger field, field one, one less, less rule. down, players in motion. Like you slot, can, kick, uh, you can kick one point. Which is... yeah, no, you can't kick one point. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can kick, you can kick one sure point. You can. If they can't take it out, you, you get a point. Yeah, but you, you can also you can also instead of kick, like if you kick the field goal, but you go wide, but you go through the end zone, you still get one. Yeah. Which is great because you can de- you can determine a game with one point. That's my favorite okay. part of the season. It's like it's tied. It's <laughs> like you're kicking the game winning field goal. He <laughs> missed, but it. it bounced out. So it's enough. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I like American football they, better. Congratulations, you almost won. Well, if you are wondering who would win between the Raiders or the Stamps or the Jags and the Stamps, or even the Jags and the Tie Cats, why not? Jags Tie Cats. Yeah, and all and all uh, female cool matchup. They had like um, a Premier League uh, relegation. So, you know, oh, loser goes to the CFL. Yeah, uh, or, or you North play Bay off, and then if you nice lose, you, you play, and if you don't, you, you oh, That'd just be kind of amazing. Like Champions League. Hilarious. Like Rough can't, Riders can't doing a season in the NFL. My, so if, you, uh, if they play American rules, obviously the Raiders crush them. I th- yeah, I think so. In Ameri- well, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think so. I can't. Oh, the Raiders lost 52 nothing this season. So I can't yeah. say the Raiders can – I can't confidently say the Raiders can crush anybody, but that's just me. They're up against the Mercurial uh, Rams. Or was, it was Rams? No, it was Tex. Who did they play? I don't remember. The Rams yeah, were weird. Was, this it was the Rams. Rams. Trey Mason, former Alabama Hilt. running back, went off. Went he, off on him. He went off. off. O-W-F. Uh, but if you would like to share your opinion, why don't you tweet us, Tim, uh, at um, <laughs> at our various uh, uh, Twitter handles. I'm at William C. Vaughn. Matt, where are you? I'm at MP Vaughn. And Alex, you're at... Uh, Addy Vonix, good. Addy Vonix. And uh, <laughs> one thing I want someone, <laughs> no time for that today. anybody yeah. to do. Yes. Here's what happened to me, and I'm sorry that I know you're just cutting it off, but I just remembered it because it happened to me recently. I okay. followed, started following uh, motivational speaker uh, Tony Robbins on Twitter. Yes. And because uh, I'd heard him on Tim Ferriss podcast, and was kind of interested. Um, as soon as I did that, I got like ten new followers. Oh, good all for you. of the here. same. That's very uh, motivating. All of the same um, do that kind there. of like, hey, I like things and life is good and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I want someone – I want you guys to do the same thing and you at home can do it too. And let me know how many new followers you get, if any. I'm going to do that. Because it was yeah. way too many. Like it was like 10 new followers within 24 hours. Yeah, my kids 24 hours? Life, okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm so gonna to follow me, Tony Robbins right now. I'm going to follow yeah, Tony Robbins right test, now and report back you know? tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're, Yeah, we're going to do it on, on Monday morning. Yeah, next morning. week. We're going to follow him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my kids are my life. Live, laugh, love. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But if you uh, have an opinion on who went between the Raiders and the Stamps or the Jags and the Tie Cats, why don't you tweet at us using the hashtag who would win between the Stamps and the Raiders or the Jaguars and the Tiger Cats? That's the, full, that's the hashtag because we love Should long be, hashtags hey, here. Hey, Triple Threat Podcast, Cast. here's my yeah. opinion on the question you brought up the during brought the last up. podcast that came out on December. On December. Eighth. <laughs> 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 Eighth? Eighth, Eighth yeah. Today. It's early. I haven't looked oh, at man. my page a day calendar yet. I am yep, so it's the eighth, all right. Ah oh, man, I am. I'm like a Hollandaise. I'm egg sausted. All right, thanks for oh, listening brother. this week, folks. Uh, uh, your best tweet of the week, Will, is uh, not what you just said. So. Yes, well, I'm going to tweet it right now, Monday morning. <laughs> Here I go. Uh, Thank thanks right. a lot, everybody. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you next week. I guess there's... Don't see music. anybody. We just talk. I already have somebody following me because I followed uh, Tony Robbins. Wow. Yeah, see? On, Monday, on Monday morning, right? Automated. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. can check that, by the way. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time. Damn, we don't see people. Do you, can you see people right now? I see dead people. I used to think people on TV could see me. Remember we used to call the wrestling thing and we tell Matt like the wrestling hotline. We were like, "Hey Matt, listen, you don't talk," and he'd always like talk. I was thinking of that the other day. The Herald Line. I was thinking about the Herald Line, and I was like, "Man, that's where I got my wrestling news." Yeah, and Matt would call. We would call and be like, "Matt, don't (laughs) talk talk to the phone." I don't remember this at all. (laughs) 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 What? Once? How old was I? Oh, you're like. 
22. 25. I don't know. This is like <laughs> four years ago. Uh, I remember that before the I internet, man. So those vividly, stories, we got our news from. And we're like, remember, line. don't talk. And you'd be like, hello? I don't like pop. It's hot. <laughs> 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 what did Wazel Mom do? What did you on my eyebrows? He's actually, and now he's from New York for some reason. Oh Holy crap, God. Brent Hart's going to WCW? I can't believe it. That's outrageous. Are you me? <laughs> <laughs> We're not out. Oh, right, 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 right. We're out now. <laughs> X-rated, <laughs> X-rated baby. That's what we all was before we started. I had one left, one in the tank. Um, uh, all right, we'll talk Bye. to you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh god, sorry, kills me.